You know, in the 1980s, Rekgar talked TV. If he was created today, would he talk memes? Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the Toy Hacks Armory, where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors, and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The feature bot in this video is 1986's Generation 1, Retgar. Now, Retgar first hit the toy shelves in 86 to coincide with his appearance in The Transformers The Movie, where it was shown that Retgar was the leader of a motorcycle-themed race of Transformers from the planet Junkion. Now, Retgar and his fellow Junkions attacked the Autobots that crash-landed on Junkion up until Hot Rod and Cup arrived, and Hot Rod gave them the universal greeting. The Junkions and Autobots then had a dance party to Weird Al Yankovic's Dare to be Stupid, and then repaired Ultra Magnus, who was totally obliterated by the sweeps with some magical car wax. It's too bad the Autobots didn't know of the Junkions after Optimus Prime got killed. Now, in Marvel Comics, Retgar really didn't appear that much. He was first seen in issue number three of the Marvel Comics movie adaptation, and then again in issue number 43, which was an adaptation of a season three television episode. Now, in the UK, Retgar was featured a lot more. It was even shown that he was the one that repaired a busted bumblebee into Goldbug. So now, without further ado, put down that chainsaw and listen to me as I go over this classic Transformer. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. In vehicle mode, Retgar here is a junkie on motorcycle and a really good looking motorcycle at that. Lots of great molded details and decals. Now the decals, of course, are Toy Hacks Repro labels because when I got this figure, he had no decals whatsoever. So that's why those look so good. He also has his rub symbol right there. Let's see if we can get that to work. Yeah, there it is. You got a green Autobot logo shining through. Now, Retgar in the movie was not an Autobot, but I guess he became one after the fact in Season 3. Now, taking a closer look at the motorcycle, he does have visible fist syndrome right there. You can see his hands are holding his wheels, kind of like a GoBot Psykill. He's got his lasers right there. Here on the front of the vehicle, you got a headlamp and a clear transparent windshield. Normally, I don't like transparent plastic, but it works really good with Retgar. He's got the handlebars right here, but they don't turn. A decal for a gas cap. I love the detailing there on the seat. It actually looks like a cushion. Really, really cool. Got the saddlebags right here. Lots of chrome right there for the engine block. It's kind of blocked by all the robot parts, but that looks awesome. Back of the vehicle. You've got signal lights, and that's about it. Let's see, he's got, he's got a muffler here on this side, not on that. So all in all, a really cool motorcycle mode. Now, what I like about him is he stands really good, and that's thanks to this wide base he has right here, 
which you can tell are robot legs, but it keeps him from falling over, partially in part to these little raised areas right there. So I do like the support. And when you push him along, the wheels kind of turn. You more or less just glide him across the surface because most of his weight is here on the base. And that's it for vehicle mode. Let's go ahead and get Retgar transformed into robot mode. And the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is separate the fists here and remove this wheel. It just pegs right in like so, put that to the side. Now what you're gonna to wanna to do is straighten out the legs. They actually unpeg from the engine block. You got a little peg right there that corresponds to these holes in the legs. So you kind of lift those out and around. And now let's see, you have to find the leg, this leg right here that has the wheel attached. So you want to pull this leg out so you can get that peg out from inside it and just rotate this wheel around. I never like doing this because I always feel like I'm going to warp the wheel, but it works. It just rotates right around. Go ahead and swing the legs all the way down. And you've got the legs have this joint right here. You want to make sure and bring these in so the legs are nice and straight. And Retgar is starting to get tall. Now from here, what you're going to do is take this chrome section and bring this down. This is Retgar's chest. You kind of have to manipulate it a little bit to get to line up just right. I think there is a double hinge in there. But once you get it, I've always had problems with this. Get that lined up. There we go. Snaps into place and swing. There's the problem. I forgot. You got to lift this section up and get the arms out. It's been a long time since I transformed this guy. Get the arms folded out. Bring this section back down. And this is die cast. This whole red section right here is die cast. That's awesome. Now you're going to bring this section over here, which is the head. And right here, let's see, bring it up so you can get a hold of it. You flip this down. If you can get your fingernail in. Always on camera, folks. There we go. Flip that down, revealing Retgar's face. And there we have Retgar in robot mode. And robot mode is a far cry from what he looked like in Transformers the movie. I <laughs> mean, he is a little weird looking. Uh, let's see, taking a closer look at the face sculpt. The face looks nothing like the movie. I mean, the movie, he had the mustache and goatee. The figure does not. I guess you can use your imagination and squint really hard, and it looks like he has it, but unfortunately, he does not. He does have great articulation, though. He's one of the rare G1s that have ball joints. He has ball-jointed shoulders. They can go up and down, in and out, do a complete 360. He does have an elbow bend, and wrist rotation. Let's see, no waist rotation whatsoever. Got to check those knees. The knees can go forward in a I broke my leg look, but they do not rotate back. I mean, you can bend them out like so, which makes you look like he's also broke his leg, but that's about it. I mean, not much articulation at all for this figure. Now he does come with a couple of accessories. You have the wheel that you took out earlier that you can put in his hand for a shield. Now the art Shows that they could attach to his arm, but unfortunately, it cannot. Maybe if you take that screw out, you can put it in there, but I'm not going to try that. Best thing to do is just put it in his fist, turn the fist sideways so it looks like he's holding the shield correctly. He also comes with this four bladed axe. Well, actually, it's a three bladed axe. So you can put that in his hand like so. So you've got that medieval look going on. He also has a blaster, and I really like his blaster. I think that's a really cool look. So take the blaster, you put this in his hand, and there we have Retgar all armed and ready for battle. Now another option you can do if you want to display all of his weapons is you can take the wheel out, take his axe, and you can actually put the wheel through the little hole right there, 
So you can attach the wheel to the axe, put that in his fist, but I'm not a big fan of that. I mean, he's going into battle with a pinwheel, or he's meeting up with the bros, and he's going to slice some pizza. So you got that going on. He also has his notorious, as everybody it was cracking me up in the Hasbro live stream yesterday, people could not get enough of Retgar's nipple guns, or as I like to call them, his titty tasers. So he's got his weapons right there. Great chrome there on the chest and the abs. I mean, this is a awesome looking toy. Like I said, it's weird, but he looks great and is so 80s. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is 1986's Generation 1 Retgar with Generation 1 Rodimus Prime. Classics Deluxe Retgar, Power of the Primes Retgar, and Studio Series 86 Hot Rod. I also want to point out that if you have two Retgars, you cannot make one Retgar ride the other like in the movie. It just doesn't work. Yet, Studio Series figures like Hot Rod here can go joyriding with no problem whatsoever. 1986's Generation 1 Retgar is a fantastic Transformers toy. I love his motorcycle mode. I love his weird robot mode, though I do wish it looked a little bit more like the cartoon, but hey, it was G1. They hardly ever did. This is a great toy. It's a solid toy. Great die-cast metal, great sculpted details, plus he's got pretty good articulation for a G1. So there you go, guys. 1986's Transformers Generation 1, Retgar. So, does a 1986 Generation 1 Retgar belong in your collection? Well, if you're a G1 collector, absolutely. This is a great Transformers toy from 1986. I absolutely love this guy. Great vehicle mode, great robot mode, decent articulation for a G1. And he just looks so cool and is so big. I mean, this guy has a presence on your shelf. So if you see Retgar, pick him up. You are not going to be disappointed. Just keep in mind of the accessories. He's got the gun, the wheel, and the battle axe. Now, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I also have a Patreon page. And thank you guys so much. A couple days ago, I hit 9,000 subscribers, so I appreciate it so much. It just, it still to this day blows my mind how much this channel has grown, and I have you guys to thank for it. Now, we're on the race. <laughs> we're heading toward the finish line of 10,000 subscribers by TFCon in October. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!